So it's later in the day. Um, I just had recorded all this stuff that I just bought from the private pig yesterday. I just wanted to show you guys what I bought today. Um, I went to a sale. I'm really glad I found this, but there was another neat piece I really wanted for myself. There was a two-headed jackalope taxidermy like bust, I guess you could call it, for $20. I couldn't believe it and I'm so sad I missed out on it. I even tried to buy it from the guy and he said nope. <laughs> so, but at the sale I found for $50. We found a Danbury Mint Labrador Christmas tree for $50. Super cute and it lights up. They had it plugged in and everything. So I was really excited about that. Um, we went to Goodwill and I found in a grab bag one of these Yikes. Pencil sharpeners, I believe I've sold two before in the past. If not, I have definitely sold one. Um, and it was half price day on yellow tag, so I actually paid eight or four dollars instead of eight. Found this really cool for seven dollars. DMC truck. It's leather belt buckle. Um, the guy that they were doing this estate sale for was a car guy, so I don't know if this was something from like a dealership, like a giveaway or something. But we did find that. We also found a really cool cameo pin. For three dollars it's not marked as far as i can tell there is a sticker on the back though and we also got this mother of pearl letter opener for two dollars i saw a similar listing i believe it was for 15. um and that's all we got today i'm gonna get around to listing there's a ton of stuff that needs to be listed and i want to go to that auction on saturday so i'm gonna work really hard to try to get some stuff going out of here i don't know if you guys remember me picking some of these up i had them listed where we used to live and they were not selling at the price that I was asking for them. Well, last night I listed them here at the new house in Lincoln and they sold last night and they're actually on their way to come pick them up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get them set out. They are so cool. I am so glad to have had these and I'm glad that I brought them with me because it was well worth it. Hey guys, it's still Thursday. I'm pulling some orders to pack up for tomorrow. First off, we sold those two loop candlesticks combined for $50 plus shipping over on Mercari. These are very cool little candlestick holders. Next for 12 plus ship, I have this little Fisher Price plastic instrument set. Um, it is in rough condition, but we still got it sold. Next, we sold this The Networks board game for $60 plus shipping. If you guys remember that huge board game buy I did, this was one of the more expensive ones in there. 8 plus ship, I sold another one of these Magnolia serving trays. I only have about 4 left and a couple of them are in really rough condition so I may update the listing photos for those. We sold another Bethlehem Village piece, this little palm tree one for $18 plus shipping. The leaves are poseable which is awesome. 22 plus shipping, I just picked this up. This empty Chef's Delight cheese box. Really cool. I wonder what the person that is buying this is going to use it for. My favorite sale from today. $120 plus shipping for this antique alcohol bottle. I picked it up a while ago for $15. Amazing flip. Amazing. 10 plus shipping. We've got this Scentsy Warmer going out. It is a breast cancer awareness one. I'm almost done selling off all of my cheap Scentsy Warmers. $44 plus shipping for these OnCloud shoes. They are in okay condition. Cleaned them up a little bit when I get, got them, but there's still some scuffs and stuff like that. But still, decent shape. There's just some staining around the rim here. And that is all that I'll be pulling for tonight. I did start listing some stuff from that haul I showed you guys. Um, we have the handkerchief face right here. We've got a couple of these other ones. Got some of my Fenton custard glass listed. This super cool Fenton hobnail piece right here. So we're getting some cool pieces listed. I'm excited to see how long they last in the store. I almost forgot we made a sale over on Dibdit to Matt's Profit Pursuit, this vintage Ninja Turtles towel for $9 plus shipping. Hey guys, it is Thursday, or Friday. Um, we are getting ready to go to an auction tomorrow, but first I wanted to pack some orders. We did have another order come through over on Dibdit from Matt's Profit Pursuit. He ordered this Thrasher magazine from me for $14 plus shipping. And the thing I liked about Dibdit is if there's a buyer that buys two separate things from you, it automatically combines shipping, which is super cool. Wish eBay would do that. Get with the program, eBay. Come on now. 
Anyways, we got this going out with that Ninja Turtle towel that I showed you, showed you guys yesterday. So while I'm sitting here packing orders, I'm also thinking about stuff that I take to auctions and I wanted to kind of tell you guys what I pack. Um, I've only been to, this is my second ever item auction. Um, I have been to car auctions before with my parents, but um, item auctions are obviously a lot more different. Um, so basically I carry a purse with me all the time and I usually always have my battery packs on me. You just never know when you're not going to have charge on your phone, especially if you're at an auction looking stuff up or if you're out sourcing looking stuff up. Luckily, I do keep a charger in my car, which I use most of the time, but since I'll be in a building at this auction, I want to make sure I have charge on my phone because nothing's worse than not being able to look up the value of an item that's getting auctioned um, because your phone's dead. Of course, I always pack cash um, just because... The ones I have been to are cash only, I believe, or I think they do card, but they charge a fee. So I try to pack cash so that way I can just pay in cash and not have to worry about a random fee that they're charging. Um, I also have a wagon, which um, I haven't been able to use yet, but I have a wagon out in my garage, which I'm going to put into my car later tonight. Just because at the end of the auction, usually at the end when they're going... Or I mean just during the auction, but mainly towards the end when they have a bunch of the junk lots, which is what I like to go for. They just, you buy it and they scoot it over to you and all of a sudden you're managing all this stuff. So I have a wagon I'm going to take with me so that way it makes it easier, especially since I'm going alone tomorrow. I want to be able to carry my stuff, at least watch my stuff. I don't like leaving things that I purchased in the auction building um, just because you never know. But, um, anyway, so that's basically the main three things. Of course, you want to bring water, um, bring money for food. This particular auction is doing, like, a little, they're doing, like, a little lunch stand so that we could buy, like, a sandwich and some chips. Um, what else? I'm also taking my GoPro to get some footage for you guys. And, um, huh, I'm trying to think of what else. And this auction is indoors, which is good. But, um, if it is an outdoor auction, just make sure to bring stuff that helps you, uh, protect you from the elements, you know, of course, like a jacket or a coat, if it's hot out, sunscreen, sunblock, sunshades, a hat, um, yeah, that's basically all I got right now. <laughs> hey guys, it is Saturday the 9th. Today is an auction day. So this will be the third auction, item auction that I've ever been to in my life. Um, I enjoy them. You end up coming home usually with a bunch of stuff. Uh, the first auction I ever went to, we filled up this car to the brim, my mom and I. Um, second auction I went to, I filled up basically my trunk and then my back seat. So I'm expecting to bring home quite a bit of stuff today. I thought um, on my drive there, it's a 30 minute drive from Lincoln. Um, I couldn't find any in town yet, but this one is a little out of town, which I'm fine with going to. I also want to record inside a little bit. I'm not exactly sure um, how it's going to be, so I'm going to try to get footage for you guys. The last couple of auctions I've gone to, I haven't really been able to get very much footage, but anyways, we just got to the town that the auction's in, so I'm going to let you guys go, um, and you'll see some auction footage, hopefully. Before we continue on with the video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the event I'm co-hosting, Planes to Profit in Omaha, Nebraska, here in February. Here are our sponsors. We've got Dibdit, Dip, Vendu, American Bubble Boy, and My Reseller Genie. And we also have three supporters, Kevin the Commonwealth Picker, Reseller Locker Room Podcast, and District. So we just got here. It's out in that 4-H building at the, this fairgrounds here in Seward, Nebraska. Um... One thing I did want to mention is have your ID ready. Usually at auctions, the ones I've been to anyways, they take your ID. They usually take your phone number and your address um, and stuff from your license just in case you bid with your number and don't pay. Um, anyways, let's head in there. So we're here. The first thing I notice is there's brats in there. There's some video games right there. We also got my number. Some old spice containers. 80. 480 and 180 and 180 now 90 400 and 9500 and 500 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 and 500
uh, we've paid up as well. Wanted to show you what I spent today. We spent a total of $70.95 today for basically a car full of stuff. The auction started at 9.30, it is now 2.42, so just a few hours, but hey, we got a car full of stuff and I should make all my money back on one lot. I basically got a whole video game lot and Xbox for $5, and there's also a bunch of controllers in there as well. Um, we also got some Fenton pieces, a uh, brass piece, which I was still surprised was there. I had to race across the, uh, the whole building because they were running two rings at once after like after lunch basically so there was stuff at both tables or both sections that I wanted so basically I'd go bid on one win take it to my pile run to the other side go bid win try to win something and basically I was running back and forth but I think we did really well um I might uh I'll just see you guys when I get home